Hey everyone, this message is for all Clan Marvel members, and I wanted to go over why I have quit and, you know, what went down. The initial decision wasn't to quit. We were supposed to rotate leadership so I can get more time to myself. I've been spending like 8 to 16 hours helping everybody in the game, um, and I'm just tired emotionally and physically. So let's talk about some things. You see, what happened was that there was multiple plans, and one of them was to rotate the leadership among all the officers, and they all knew about it, right? I wanted to slow down, and then I guess the Lozinski at the end, like, actually I found us, like, I found out, like, basically the day before, right, or the night before, right? So he he had initially planned uh, or thought of an idea to merge members into Marvel which I'm glad didn't happen. I mean, to other people, they think, oh, you know, I would have been pissed about it. No. The thing is, this is just a game to me. I am not, like, that crazy about the game. I'm crazy about helping my clan, but I'm not crazy about the game. Hell, I don't care if I'm immortal, right? So anyways, he had that plan, and I'm glad it didn't happen, because if it happened, I would have had to stay in the clan, because I would feel obligated to help everybody and just keeping up everything. So I'm glad that didn't happen because I would have spent more time and way more money. Now the second idea he had, which was the end idea, was to merge into Chosen or BBB. Now I did not even, like I was, even though he put out that plan, there was no plan to do that at all, right? The thing is, we already had leadership rotation happening. And I was planning to rotate the officer to become leaders. Now, it was at the end, that day, when that was going to happen, pretty much, uh, none of the leaders or none of the officers wanted to be leaders. So, the best idea, since nobody wanted to be leader, was just to shift everyone to become immortal so they can experience how what it's like to be immortal, and then I quit. Because I've already been immortal. right? I know that if I'm immortal again, right, if I become immortal again, I would have to spend another four months in the game constantly. And I didn't want to do that. I'm not crazy. So anyways, so that was the best decision. Now, what led to this? You see, the thing is, I was already exhausted from the two months of nonstop carrying. Actually, it was more than two months, actually three months, because I was carrying the officers before I started carrying the other members. So I carried the officers like from, I don't remember what, what hell it was, but I'm pretty sure it was like around hell two to hell three and then hell four and then hell five. So I was exhausted. I mean, first of all, I don't pay. I'm a free to play basically. I do pay enough to like, you know, to keep my character like a server person, like, or maybe pay for the server rather. It's like, I put a hundred dollars in there each month, which is like my internet bill. And I didn't want to be like leeching and basically not contributing anything, right? So I pay a little, but I'm pretty much a free to play. So I had to get my CR up constantly and then afterwards carry all the other members or all the officers. And then after when the all, all the officers were carried, then they would help out. But, you know, I would still be the one that put in the most hours. Right. I mean, I would be up to like 5, 6 a.m. and you'd see me online and I was helping members get their CR up and that happened nonstop. And that took a toll on me, like physically. I'm tired of it. Right. As much as I like helping members, a lot of members are already over 4000 CR, some of them over 5000 now. But, you know, I couldn't do it continuously for that long. I mean, it went from hell 2, hell 3, hell 4, hell 5. I'm done, right? So, you know, it how it went was basically I woke up at 9, carried some people to 12, and then they went offline. Some other people went online at 12, carried them to 4, and then they went offline, and then some people came online at 4, and then I carried them to 9, and 9, they went offline, and I carried them to like 4 a.m. Or like, you know, basically it was the entire day. And sometimes I wouldn't even remember what day it is. And I was kind of tired of that. And then, of course, as the clan grew and as the players grew, um, some of them have become ungrateful. I mean, unfortunately, that's just how it is. Once you start having uh, conflicts in the clan, you know that, you know, it's time to end it. Because, 
you know, they now you're getting too involved in something that is just a virtual world. So anyways, the second thing is the emotional side, which was basically the conflict with another officer. So, you know, as I carried this officer and how as she became more powerful, right? Not that she's that powerful. I actually wanted to put her as leadership because she talked a lot and she was active, right? But here comes the problem. As she talked a lot and as she became stronger, she became very, you know, how should I say it? She became a dictator, basically. She wanted me to do this. She wanted me to do that. She literally changed the entire skill of another member because she liked the other skill more. I mean, they wanted to play as a meteor sorceress, and then she was like forcing him to change into a beam wizard while asking me to tell them to change it. But I didn't care. I mean, I was like, let him play the way he wants. Why the hell am I going to force somebody to change into another uh, skill because you like it? So anyways, at the end of the day, uh, we got into a lot of disagreements. And I was tired of it, and I didn't like uh, how, hey, she basically wanted me to follow in what she was doing. So I offered her to split the clan, but she didn't want to split the clan. I mean, because she was weak, right? I mean, she couldn't carry anybody, and I actually tested her, and she failed it. She was like 4,300, we were, or 4,500, we were in hell four. I asked her to carry in hell three, and she couldn't do it. And it was only two people, which means the enemies were much weaker. So she couldn't do it, but she wanted to give out orders. And, you know, it was until one of the other players, I told him I wanted to quit, right? He was like, don't give leadership to this person. And then he he was a very decent, outspoken person. He was like saying, calling her a dictator and then saying that um, she can only bark orders. And then that's where I thought about the leadership rotation. Uh, you know, I'll play less and I'll let the other members become leader. Except the problem is none of the officers wanted to become leader. So like I was saying, that's what happened. And then I didn't want to deal with uh, the drama. I mean, I offered to split the clan. She didn't want to split the clan, but she wanted me to be under her wing, to sort of speak, and then, you know, order me to do carries probably and I wasn't ready to do that because first of all I carried her if she wasn't carried by me she wouldn't have been you know in even in health four right so I wasn't ready to do that and she was getting very very negative right I mean I, w I carried this member for seven days non-stop and then just because she put her into the war band suddenly she thinking that now that's her member and of course, you know, everything in the clan was getting worse in the sense of me and her because she wanted to basically control me. And I wasn't ready to be controlled by somebody, you know, that basically could only give orders to others. And so, right, once she left, right, I already thought about rotating leadership and I didn't want her to fight with the other leaders, right, the other officers for power. So that was emotionally draining. It was annoying. I didn't want to deal with that shit because I had other players in other games where, or other members in other games where they threatened to suicide, right? And then if I didn't do this and I didn't want to deal with that shit again. So I just pretty much, uh, when nobody wanted to become leader, I just, you know, I just quit, right? I just sent everybody into immortal. That wasn't the plan, but I sent everybody into Moro so they can experience the end game. And then I just quit. And that's pretty much what happened. And I think it's very beneficial to everybody because now you're immortal and you get to experience the last thing in the game. If not, I mean, let's say a lot of people that were still just playing in Hell 2, right? When we were all in Hell 4, they would still be in Hell 2, right? Right? So anyways, I ha my conscience is clear. I think I've contributed did a lot to everybody's character, my time, my effort, like I said, non-stop running and everybody could feel it. And I just didn't want to deal with the drama. I didn't m mind carrying people, but I don't feel like dealing with all the dramas, not only in the clan, but also in the outside of the, uh, 
Well, inside the Diablo server, but out, yeah, inside the Diablo server. So I didn't want to deal with the Malice's drama either. So after Bones was down, I was like, good time for me to quit because if I was supposed to protect the kingdom again, right, that would be another four weeks or six weeks, right, or seven weeks. And then afterwards, now you have to reclaim the kingdom. That's, if you add everything up, right, let's say there, that would be another four months. And I wasn't ready to do that again. Anyways, thank you guys for playing with me, and I really enjoyed the time I had with you guys. Um, even though, in the end, some members, I didn't really, I guess we didn't really end on any good terms. But like I was saying, my conscience is clear. I helped a lot of, buddy, a lot of people, everybody, and I spent a great deal of time helping everybody. And I think this pretty, that's enough for me. And I know some people are, up, are upset, right? But I really need a break.